praise the Lord. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Joyce Ndem, and I'm making this testimony from Uyo, Akwaibom State, Nigeria. I have come to give glory to God for his wonderful works and his strange acts. On the 6th of April, 2022, I gave a testimony of how God delivered a mentally challenged Ghanaian girl I met on the street of Uyo. I met Teresa sometime last year as a mad girl, a mad lady on the street. She's from Ghana and we became friends. I go to the streets to see Teresa and I brought Teresa to this fire altar. Every day I pray for Teresa, even today. Today, the 6th of April, I mentioned Teresa's name and I said, Father, if you will do this for me, I will come to this altar and I will share the testimony. And here I am with Teresa. Teresa is fine. Teresa is nice. Teresa can communicate now. God has done it for us. And she came to the shop to look for me. I remember that day as I made the testimony, I asked her, would you want to go back home to Ghana? And she said, yes, she would want to go back home to Ghana. But as at that day, she does not even remember where she came from. But God in his beautiful ways made a way for this young lady. And by the grace of God, Right here in Uyo, God helped us and we were able to trace her family in Brunhafo in Ghana through my classmate who lives and works in Birmingham, United Kingdom. And with that friend of mine, we were able to take Teresa back to Ghana. We left Uyo on the 8th of September. And on the 9th of September, we, we left for Accra. And Teresa was united with her family in Brown Afo. I have come back to thank God for his strange acts in the life of this young lady. And today, Teresa is in Ghana with her family. <laughs> And I want to say that all that the Lord have done for us, Teresa and I have family, I have come back to say thank you, Jesus, and to continue to proclaim that what God cannot fix does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. And what God cannot solve does not exist. Pastor Jerry, I want to say thank you very much for all you do for us. That when the Lord gives you a word, you do not keep it. You say it out and it come to pass. So I want to say, may the oil on your head multiply, just as Pastor Uguru said. <laughs>